Hello Internet, this is Doofus K. Welcome back. A little bit of a change up here. Uh, this is an electronics repair video. It's a friend of mine's uh, dash cam. And the complaint was here, obviously you can see that uh, this USB connector has been ripped off of the board. Um, I was trying to think of a witty uh, a witty saying, but I couldn't think of anything that wasn't like super offensive or something like that. So, so anyway, uh, so the deal is here, we have the, we have the USB connector and we have this board here. Uh, most people would probably just condemn this board, junk it, you know, these things are like 60 bucks or whatever, but I, I think we can actually fix this thing. So, um, if I can do this here. So what you can see here is these little dots are the vias and this is what connects these pins through the board. Um, I think this is focused. Maybe this isn't focused really well, but uh, so this via is in good shape. That one's in good shape. These pins you can see have been totally sheared off. Uh, and what we're going to try and do is cobble some crap together here to make a piece of wire to finish this off. Um, it's not great, and it's certainly not as robust as actually having the pins on there. But uh, in this case, we don't have much of a choice. So. The other interesting thing to notice here is these grounding pins, you can see sort of the outline of the shape of the pin. It looks, you know, kind of like a foot, uh, like a crow, like the end of a crowbar, kind of. It's almost like these pins weren't quite soldered down because, I mean, those pins, the grounding pins should have been underneath the solder, not just sitting on top of it. Perhaps that's why this was ripped off and not like the whole board broken or whatever. I'm not exactly sure, but it is kind of bizarre. So anyway, um, I, I don't really have a good way to record what I'm going to do in the next step. Basically what I'm going to do is take a thin piece of wire, solder one end of it here, and, you know, kind of make a tail out here and see if, oh, I can't really solder it to anything because, you know, these are obviously connected to something. So I'll just solder it to here and kind of bring it outside of the board here. And then when I solder the connector down, I can cut it off here. So um, it didn't quite focus, Ray. Right? That's kind of fuzzy over there. But anyway, um, I'm not going to really go over in great detail like what you need. Um, I mean, <laughs> you need a soldering iron that's fine enough to get in there to not melt everything into pieces. Um, I use a magnification. Uh, it's a kind of like a jeweler's loop kind of thing. Uh, it's like a really super nerdy looking pair of glasses, but it has um, uh, like, I think 5, 10, 15, 20 times magnification. So you can you can see what you're doing in, in occasions like this. Um, you don't need a super fancy soldering iron, but I have a digitally controlled, a digital temperature controlled one. It's not strictly necessary, but uh, it, it does help. The problem is if your iron is too hot, you can actually do more damage. You can actually <laughs> burn the rest of the trace off of the board. So, um, I guess the moral of the story is, you know, you do need some specialized equipment, but, you know, kind of the thing here is it's already broken. Uh, you know, you can't break it anymore. So, if you have a soldering iron and you have some way to magnify it to see it, uh, give it a shot. Um, I still have the original power connector. So I can just clean off the contacts, uh, clean all this old solder up, and uh, I should be able to reuse it. So I can't really film the next step. So uh, we'll just have to come back when I'm done here and uh, see what see what I've done. So uh, we'll be right back. Let me get my pointing device here. Oops, I got solder in the way. So, oops. So the top one kind of looks like crap, but actually the pin up here is actually still connected on this side. These three pins only had half of the thing. Um, it looks like crap, I know, but uh, the pins on the connector are actually bent a little bit, so I think this should be good. Um, this is sort of your only choice uh, in situations like this. I mean, you could solder a wire to this and put this power connector somewhere else, but that's, that's an awful lot of work. Um, and it's, you know, these... <laughs> These wires are so fine, it's, it's hard to even see what the heck is even going on. Uh, basically, the soldering iron bridges three of these pads, so it's um, it's a little hard to deal with. The real problem is going to be when I put this connector down um, and I solder it to those wires here, 
the hardest part is going to be trimming off the extra wire. Uh, it's it's going to be tough. So um, once again, I can't really video it while I'm doing the doing the actual work. So I'll put the connector down next, and then I'll show you what I have after I'm done with that. Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> well, this isn't my finest work, but uh, there you have it. Uh, those little pieces of wire are underneath, and I actually cut them against the board. Uh, the one kind of shady thing here, let's see if I can find my, oops, sorry, my, I don't really have the right lighting set up for this. Um, so you can see here that uh, I cut, with this knife in fact, I cut these pins off uh, at the board and um, they kind of left a little bit of a mark on the on the circuit board there, but um, I think that should be fine. So I did try this, it does work. So uh, so there you go, if your power connector is ripped off, it does take a little bit of time, but uh, time and, and you know patience and that's all you need. I put quite a lot of solder um, along the corners here. Uh, now these little feet are underneath this, you can see I did kind of a shoddy job there, but that's fine. Um, so there you go, that's how you fix that thing. So thanks for watching and um, hopefully this helped somebody.